Today we want to compare two of my absolute favorite guitars that I have encountered this year. One that we know very well, the Taylor 814 CE, and we are going to compare that to one of the newer kids on the block, the Furch Red Master's Choice guitar, which is also a grand auditorium body shape. They have similar tone woods, similar price, similar size. How do they compare? Let's check it out. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to our channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store below where you can purchase t-shirts that we have designed ourselves for you to wear. So as I said at the onset, we are gonna compare two guitars. We're gonna compare the great Taylor 814 CE, which is one of our absolute favorite guitars here in the store, to the Furch Red Master's Choice. Now, if you've seen our video on Furch, I am a fan of these guitars. If you have not seen that yet, I will put a link right above my head there so you can see that kind of introductory video to the line. We have finally received some additional guitars from Furch and we are excited to do reviews and comparisons for you on these as well. This is one that I was particularly excited to get my hands on because this is the Red Series Master's Choice. Now, as I mentioned in that video, Master's Choice uh, guitars are basically uh, the for each series there's a selection of body shape, tone woods, and so forth to consider that the master's choice. Within each series you can choose other body shapes um, and in some cases even a change of tone woods. So in the red series there are two levels. The next level up includes Coco Bolo and I believe it's Alpine Spruce. Um, but in each series uh, along the lines that are colored uh, whether it's a blue series, green series, orange, yellow, red, so forth, there is what's considered kind of the, the pick, the master's choice for that series, what represents the flagship of that series. And that's what we have today. This is the red. It's a GC, which is a grand auditorium with cutaway. And uh, the model number you typically see on this would be red GC SR SPA. And let me kind of break that down for you so you can understand the terminology that Furch is using. So it is a red series. It is a GC, which is a Grand Auditorium with a cutaway. SR is spruce and East Indian rosewood back and sides. And SPA is the Stage Pro Anthem pickup that they put in here. So this is an LR Bags Anthem, much like you've talked, you've seen me talk about and praise in some of our other videos. This just happens to be the Pro version or the Stage Pro version, which has a preamp here on the side with controls rather than the more commonly seen uh, sound hole pickup version or control version. So let's tech, talk about the specs of this guitar. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous to look at and I love the sound of it. Um, and we're gonna let you hear the comparisons, but I think this is a good comparison with an 814 because they're both grand auditoriums. They both have cutaways. They both feature spruce tops with rosewood back and sides. They both have great kind of upscale appearance and look to them. Um, and they price at about the same. Actually, the Furch is a, just a little bit less expensive than the 814 CE is. Um, but I will say that there's a little bit more eye candy going on here. So you've got your spruce top, uh, ebony bridge and fingerboard, beautiful uh, kind of floral inlay here on the fingerboard, which is echoed up here on the headstock, which is also ebony, all framed here with some beautiful uh, very delicate purfling and koa binding. So there is flamed koa binding all around the body, the neck, and the headstock of this guitar. As I mentioned, it has that LR Bags Anthem Stage Pro uh, pickup in it, and it comes with Grover tuners with ebony buttons. Now, Furch guitars feature a CNR neck design, which is basically a bolt-on neck that has an insert in the heel and the neck to ensure that it stays straight and has proper geometry between the neck, the bridge, the top, the whole guitar. This is similar in some ways to the way Taylor has anchored their necks on. They use a bolt-on neck design as well, using their NT or New Tech neck system, which has been covered ad nauseum over many, many years. They've been using that system for about 20 years now, 
and it ensures an accurate angle and adjustability. So these are both kind of modern takes on the acoustic guitar. Of course, this is featuring master grade tonewoods from Furch. It is built overseas in the Czech Republic. It has their scalloped bracing and the top and back on these red series are all tap tuned or tuned by luthiers there at the factory. The Taylor we're going to compare it to, of course, features their new V-Class bracing, which is the sonic engine for the guitar that Andy Powers designed to improve sustain, uh, volume, sustain, and intonation on the guitars, and it works very, very well. In addition to the acoustic sound of these guitars, I also want to compare the pickup systems. Taylor is using their ES2 pickup system, which is on pretty much most every guitar they manufacture at this point, and it is a very good design of a piezo pickup that sits behind the saddle. This one, though, the Furch is using this Anthem, which is a bridge plate microphone along with an undersaddle element. And it has typically been my preferred pickup in most of my acoustic guitars, giving you a natural sound because the microphone is picking up your actual guitar. So it's a good comparison, not just acoustically, but to hear the pickup from both of these stellar guitars. So check it out. We're going to play both of them for you right now so you can hear the differences plugged in and acoustic. Here we go.
So there you have it. A great comparison between two fantastic, wonderful builders. Now, in our previous video talking about Virch, one of the things that I said is that we started carrying this line of guitars because I'm excited about these guitars. I'm excited about the builder, the design. What struck me when I first played them is the feel of the guitar. Their playability is fantastic. And it, they, in a lot of ways, they remind me of Taylor. And more specifically, how I felt when I first discovered Taylor over 20 years ago. Before they were really the size they are now, and a lot of players were just waking up to the quality of those guitars. I feel that way about this small European builder that has made its way over to our shores here in the United States. So hopefully you were able to pick up some of the nuanced differences that are apparent despite these guitars being very similar, they have different sounds to them based upon the designs of the builders. So hopefully you could pick up on that nuance and appreciate, just like I do, what each guitar brings to the table. Which one would you choose? Let us know in our comment section below. And again, if you're new to our videos, we like to do these comparisons, reviews, and other tidbits and news about guitar. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like them, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.